Joining us now first on CNBC is Planet Labs PVC co-founder and CEO Will Marshall. Will, congrats on the milestone today. Great to have you back on the show. Thanks. It's wonderful to be here. It was such an exciting day to ring that bell and 10 years into a fantastic journey um, of Planet. So excited to be here. We, we set out 10 years ago in our garage to image the whole world every day with satellites to make that data, uh, democratize access to it because we thought by imaging the whole world every day, we could help lots of customers and help us to take care of the planet. And it took launching the largest satellite fleet in human history. It took um, building lots of partnerships. And we did it. You know, we got 200 satellites up there. They're imaging the whole world every day. We're making an impact. And, and, but that is just the beginning of Planet's potential. And this launches this into a new phase. We have plenty of capital to build the business. Um, and we're well poised to to go into the market and, and have a big impact at the same time. It's a really mm -hmm. exciting day for Planet. Yeah, so in terms of that capital, you've raised almost $600 million through this deal and the closing of this deal. How specifically will you deploy that now? Yeah, I mean, mainly in two areas. One is uh, building up the sales and, and marketing team. You know, we only had 21 people doing sales last year. They were just over that $100 million in revenue last year. We need to scale that up to all the potential uh, partners all around the world, all the ad companies, all the governments that you can use it, all the mapping companies and so on. And secondly, in software, um, because a, a lot of people can see potential value in our data, like in hedge funds, insurance and so on. But we need to bridge the gap to data that they can use by doing analytics that it makes it easier to use. So sales and marketing and software. So let's talk about how quickly you are expecting to grow. The last time you joined us, which was earlier this fall, uh, you mentioned a 40% growth rate over the next five years. Is, are you still on track for that? Is it still your expectation? Yeah, absolutely. I'm really confident in our plans. Uh, we did project just over 40% growth year on year for the next five years. Uh, we have all the, the uh, pipeline of opportunity to go after. I'm really confident in the plan. How large will you have to grow to the Constellation to keep pace with that? Actually, the Constellation is fully built. And what we're now really doing is enabling the utilization of that data. We constantly update the satellites, but the main effort is on software to make it easier and easier to use, to make it easier not just for teams of people that have geospatial expertise, as in Google or in, in, in big ag companies or in governments, but a lot of other users, like developers and those hedge funds and those insurance companies and so on. And that takes a, a, a fair bit of software. So the main effort is in that area. Yeah, I and mean, I'm curious about new use cases then. I mean, defense intelligence, I know, is something else you've been mentioning as well recently. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of our use cases. We help countries with border security, also with disaster response. We've been helping recently the German government with flooding um, the California, various counties with the, uh, with the wildfires, helping them prevent those disasters and uh, help them in real time. Uh, we're helping with agriculture, big ag companies. But we're also yeah, opening up new markets to your question. Um, I mean, I think actually hedge funds is one of the most interesting areas in finance because we actually know the soy yield of all the world's soy fields before anyone else, the uh, crop yields, other, uh, the mining output from all the world's copper mines and so on. Um, but we have to turn that into time series calibrated data for them to digest. And so that's why we're focused on software to unleash those markets. Yeah. So it's mainly going after the existing ones with more sales and marketing, going after new ones uh, with new software.